the metaverse. Let's talk about the metaverse. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the metaverse here. Now, guys, I hear a lot of people that, um, that, 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 that are saying a lot of negative things about the metaverse. Like, if you just go to YouTube and type in metaverse, you will see tons of videos of people that are very, you know, positive about the metaverse, talking about how you can make money about the met with the metaverse and talking about the future of the metaverse. But then you also see these videos that, you know, people are saying negative things about the metaverse. Right when I heard about the metaverse, just right when I heard about it, I got really excited. And the reason why I got really excited is because I knew what the metaverse was about. All right. I, I knew what that I have a, a really good idea of what, where they're going with the metaverse. Mm -hmm. However, there's a lot of people that, that have no idea, you know, what the metaverse is. They have no idea about AI. They have no idea about um, VR. They have no idea about, you know, they, they just don't know about these things. So they hear this term metaverse, which, I mean, it kind of sounds a little weird, right? It is a very um, unconventional name, metaverse. <laughs> And they hear this name and they just think negative of it. So let's just talk about the metaverse for a minute. Let's just talk about some of the, the really, really cool things that I think that could come about the metaverse. And let's just uh, jump right into it really fast. So first off, the metaverse. We're sort of somewhat living in a metaverse already, but not like the metaverse that uh, Zuckerberg wants to create. Pretty much what Zuckerberg wants to create is he wants to create something where, right now I'm sitting outside of this coffee shop and I have a friend that lives in New York, okay? And I can FaceTime this friend. And when I FaceTime this friend, you know, I just hold my phone, I can see this friend, okay? But in the future, what if, you know, I I'm sitting here having coffee, but then the friend is just like right over there and I can see this friend. And, and, and this friend is sitting there and, and we're talking, I can hear. Um, that's that's one idea of the meta, metaverse, okay? Now, to some people, you may think, how is your friend gonna be sitting there if you're not there? Well, you would you would use, um, you would use virtual, virtual reality goggles, right? Or you would use AI glasses in the future. Like, in the future, I, w I believe this technology is gonna be AI glasses. Um, it'll start off with VR glass, uh, with, with VR, where you just wear the headset and you're at home. But I think in the future, you know, they're gonna have AI glasses, which will be glasses that are clear, that are very, very small, that looks like normal glasses. And with these glasses, you know, an, an avatar could appear and it, it could appear as if, you know, this person is standing here in front of me. And then I'm, I'm talking to this person, I hear them. It looks like they're in front of me because there's there's an avatar in front of me but actually the person is not there in front of me i can you know wave my hand over and my hand would go through them but just through the glasses it appears as if they're, they're there now if you've never used this technology it may be um a little you may not necessarily understand how it works um working in the medicine in the metaverse is going to be insane um, if you ever want to try what it feels like to sort of, you know, watch a YouTube video with, with VR goggles, it, it's very, very different. And you don't necessarily have to watch a 360 YouTube video. You can just watch like a regular video, YouTube video or a regular movie. You can play games with, um, in, in VR already. Facebook has a product called the Oculus and it's a really cool product. I'm waiting for the next version of the Oculus to come out. The next version of the Oculus should have face tracking where like it can pick up your facial expressions. Like if you smile or if you, you know, you freak out or if you get angry, you know, it'll be able to pick up your facial expressions and stuff like that. And um, it, it's gonna feel more real like in this next, um, this next VR device should also have much, much, much better resolution. Like it should have very close to like real life um, resolution, which is which is really, really, um, which is really, really important, especially in the VR space because people want to they're gonna want to see something that that looks very, very real. Um, when we think about um, the environmental um, implements of the the, the metaverse. It can be very, um, it can be very vast, guys. If we begin to move into a future 
of more and more people are in the metaverse and more and more people are working in the metaverse. Like, you know, you, you found a job in the meta metaverse, so now you don't have to leave. You can work at home in the metaverse. You can hang out with your friends and family in the metaverse. You can go to different places and go to different events, like in the metaverse. If this begins to happen, the actual things, people won't really want things as much because, okay, back to the metaverse here. I think I'm, I'm jumping, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. So in the metaverse, eventually it's gonna work like this. I have an avatar and today the avatar, they don't look very real-like, okay? Today and the avatar looks like a cartoon character. But in the future, the avatars are gonna look completely real, okay? You're not gonna be able to tell the difference. You will not be able to tell the difference between real life and the avatar in the future if you're wearing, you know, the, the, the glasses or the VR set. And when, when we begin to work and play and do all these things in the, the metaverse, what's going to eventually happen is Okay, when we talk about fashion right now, I've been talking about like how NFTs are gonna take off in the fashion community and how they're gonna take off in the fashion community first is it's gonna take off in video games where like if you if you buy this certain piece from, you know, X designer, if you play this game, you get extra powers and then you can wear the outfit in the game. Well, it's gonna eventually start off that way. You're gonna go to, you know, maybe in the future you'll go to the Gucci store you'll buy a pair of Gucci shoes and it'll come with the NFT. So you can share that NFT like on social media, you know, you can share that NFT in games. Maybe that NFT will give you certain powers and stuff like that. But in the future, I believe that people will just be buying the NFT and they won't actually be getting the actual physical good because in life, a lot of people buy things to flex. I mean, come on, let, let's, just, let, let's just face it. Like a lot of people buy things to show that I've made it. Right, a lot of people, you know, a lot of guys will will, will buy a Rolex to, to show that they've made it. You know, they'll go buy a, a, a Lambo or a Ferrari to show that they made it, so that when people see them in the real world, you know, you, you see them driving, um, you know, a, a Ferrari. You see them at you know the mall and they're wearing their, their Rolex. But if we're gonna be in a more digital world, you won't actually see the the person. You won't see people like. You won't see like people like 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 I, I walk down the street and like see people and I see their fashion, so they won't be able to flex that way. So the new the new flex is going to be digital. So it's going to be digital. So when you look at fashion, eventually, you know companies like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, um, Nike, also you know some of the big brands, Supreme. Eventually, they'll start selling NFTs with their products. Okay, because let's just face it, a lot of their products are getting knocked off like crazy, and they're getting knocked off to the T. Right? I mean, just look at rep community on YouTube. Like some of these products are knocked off to the T. So eventually they're gonna start selling items with NFTs with those items, right? And then eventually it's gonna move on to just selling just the NFT. And if you think about the environment and what this could do to the environment, I mean, just think about how many people get on airplanes to go travel to go someplace. And let's just say that instead more and more people do things more in the, the metaverse and, and they don't like get on an airplane and go you know to another country and maybe they do it less a year right maybe they spend more time in the metaverse okay this could very well you know our, our emissions and our, all of our greenhouse gases this could very well nose out those things right because now you have less people moving around now you have less people you know going places now you have less people you know um you know needing a, a brand new car every year now you have less people needing you know things every year because now things are moving more digitally right now to a lot of older people you may just think yo this is crazy like i do not want to live in this world well i don't think that this world is just gonna turn into this like overnight like tomorrow like you know this is just going to be the option i think it's going to be a slowly um it's going to be a slowly it's going to be a slow it's going to be a slow it's going to be one of those things that's that it, it's a slow adopt like people are going to slowly catch on to it and, and it also depends on jobs like if there's a lot of jobs in the future i would imagine that you know if, if there's jobs in the meta, meta metaverse people are going to be going to the metaverse to do those jobs especially if they're the type of jobs where you can stay at home 
And if you think about automation now, automation is just, it, it's starting to tick up. Like you go to a lot more fast food restaurants and more and more fast food restaurants are using things like, you know, robots in the kitchen and they're having you order with the app. Well, eventually there's gonna be less people to work in places like, you know, fast food restaurants. So I believe there's gonna be a shift to people working from places like fast food restaurants and maybe you'll have some people going over to the, the, the metaverse and this just sounds so insane and so sci-fi i'm gonna wrap this video up because th this video is getting really really long but if you guys like this video if you um like this video hit the thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this um freestyle just talking about the metaverse because i could for all i can sit here and talk about the metaverse over and over and over maybe i'll make more videos but anyway i'm out like comment subscribe thanks so much for watching peace out y'all